Hello, hello. Okay, so if you remember from my last video, this is my mood board for my wardrobe. And today we're going to be making a long flowy skirt, kind of like the ones that are in here. I think they're really cute summery vibes. So this is a little sketch that I did. Um, just gonna, you know, spoil the video for you. I do not end up making this skirt, but I make something kind of similar. So I start by measuring my pattern and I will show you a loose pattern or like formula of what I use to actually like create the skirt but I don't actually end up using this piece in there which is quite funny but it is what I like to call a rectangle design um so here I am at my sewing machine and essentially what I'm doing right now is I'm attaching some of my ruffles to my skirt every piece that I use for the final product is a rectangle in some way so I end up only actually using um, three pieces, so this is very beginner friendly. This is something that you can easily make at home. Um, I feel like this kind of style is actually like very trendy right now. Like I've been seeing other girls on TikTok wear this kind of thing. It's very much giving like little house on the prairie vibes, but like make it a little trendier, especially if you style it right. And I'm going to show you how I style it at the end. Um, but here is me trying to sew the lace and the ruffle together onto the skirt. So this is how it came out originally. You can see it's much different than my sketch. And I realized I like kind of hated how that second ruffle looked. So I sat on it and I seam dripped it. And so here is me holding it up. So I just have this big ruffle at the bottom, um, like an extra layer. And I really like that, but the whole top came undone. So I'm about to redo that, which is totally fine. Design ebb and flows. So the thing about design, being a designer, designing things into your life is don't be afraid to like do and undo and redo and do it a million times until it's just right for you. Um, because you know what? It's okay to make mistakes and it's okay to start over. So that's what I'm doing here because I realized what I made didn't actually look as good as I thought it was going to look. And that's kind of, that's just kind of how it works. So, okay. And so here is the pattern that I used. Um, it's just rectangles and it's just kind of by your own measurement, but it's just the main part of the skirt, waistband and the ruffle, and then a little bit of lace. And it's really easy. I don't even have exact measurements. And here's how I styled it. I did my grandma jacket and a little cami. And I think this is good for spring and summer.